So you enter a trade over here and you got out somewhere right about here and you think that you are genius because you had a very nice trade. Except that the market keeps going on up and up and up and you miss out on all this profit. Now, if this is you, this is a very common problem. Okay, it even happens to us. So in today's short video, what I want to do is uh, I want to go through uh, Forex tips on how do you maximize your profit and increase your risk to reward ratio. Okay, now trading involves minimizing your losses as well as maximizing your gains. In some of my other videos, I talk a lot about how to minimize your loss, but I do not have a lot of videos about how to increase your gains. Right? How do you really write out a trend and maximize uh, the trade, the maximize your profit when you have a good trade? Okay, so, so in today's video, I want to show you how to do just that. Okay, I hope you're excited. This is something new, something that uh, it's rather like a unique way that uh, we look at the market, a unique tool that we use uh, to help manage our um, profits, meaning that uh, we're trying to extract more profits from the market. So before I go into that, just want to do a very fast disclaimer, okay? Uh, please do not take what we say out of context, okay? What I'm about to show you is an indicator, okay? It's an overlooked indicator, which a lot of people already know, but they do not use it in uh, this manner. So I'm showing you how to use this uh, indicator in uh, a unique manner. Now, I'm not saying that you want to just use this indicator to blindly trade, okay? This is very important. Right. When it comes to trading, you always want to do a full analysis. Okay, You need to identify the market condition, the price level, the entry, basically the MPE strategy, which uh, we teach in our free day trading guide. So if you have not gotten a copy of that, what are you waiting for? I mean, it's free. Okay, so the link is in the description. Just check that out. Just download it. Make sure you get it. Okay, uh, if you are still confused, right, you can check out our other video about um, the five things you need to check before taking a trade. Okay, I'll leave a link in the top right. But basically, uh, you never want to use this indicator in isolation. You don't just want to buy or sell off this indicator. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Please uh, do not use this wrongly. So what will you learn in today's video? Uh, I want to show you a powerful overlook indicator to maximize your profits. Okay, why do I say it's overlook? It's because it is an indicator that you already probably know. But the problem is that uh, you are probably not using it, or at least you're not using it in a way that we're about to teach you. Okay, so I will show you what the indicator is. Well, I'll give you a brief in introduction to what the indicator does, just in case you are new to trading and you know you do not uh, yet understand how does this indicator work. And lastly, I want to show you how to use it to maximize your profits. Then I want to show you another way, right, if you stay to the end, to apply technical analysis to your charts. Okay, a lot of people do technical analysis analysis onto the price chart, but they do not apply technical analysis to their indicator charts. Okay, so if that's something new to you, you want to be sure to stay to the end. Okay, by the way, if you like this content so far, please give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Okay, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well because we have a lot of unique content such as this, which you will not find in other YouTube channels. Okay, that we can promise you because all these are content that uh, we create ourselves and it's based on our experiences. Okay, so let me go into uh, the indicator. I will switch on to my charts and uh, just show you what the indicator is, okay? So right now, I'm at trading view. Okay, just in case, uh, you know, you have been guessing, the indicator is actually the average true range indicator. Okay, now before you go off and say, ah, I already know this, this is boring stuff, please listen because this is something different. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to switch to the SMA and you want to do the 14 period, meaning that, um, you are trying to calculate the, the range of the, the mean or the daily average range of uh, the, the, the currency pair for the past 14 days. So if you have a, if you have, for example, right now you have a uh, ATR of 8871, 0 0.0871, that means that price has moved an average of 87 pips a day for the past 14 days. So this is how you use an ATR. Okay, ATR is very powerful. You can use, this, use it as a stop loss. But in today's video, I want to show you how to use ATR to write a trend. Okay, so earlier on, I said that, uh, you know, I started this video sharing with you how, um, what happens is that a lot of times uh, you are not able to write a trend and you leave a lot of money on the table. Okay, so how do you use this to write a trend? It's very simple. Just look at your ATR. If it is trending up, 
what that is this telling you? That means that um, the market is moving. That means that the range of the candle is moving. And of course, if the range of the candle is moving, then you should be holding on to the trade. Okay, so let's say you entered somewhere here. Okay, let's just uh, be hypothetical. Let's say you enter somewhere here. And somewhere over here, let, let's say, uh, let me just draw the horizontal. Uh, I'll just mark it out. Okay, let's say you enter somewhere here for whatever reason. Okay, you enter somewhere here. And you can see that price was a bit stagnant, but after that, you can do see some form of, um, you know, uptrend forming. So when you see an uptrend forming uh, on, on your trade, meaning that you are in a trade and the ATR is increasing, okay, you have a uptrend on the ATR, that is your sign that uh, you should be holding the trade, okay? Why? Very simple, because the range of the candle is, uh, increasing that means that's that there's going to be more money to be made so if you enter somewhere here and if you've seen you know you waited for all this trending atr up then this would help you have to stay on the trade and keep the profits you know to really capture the bulk of the profits okay so it's a very simple concept same thing over here let's say you enter somewhere over here okay again i'm going to reiterate uh, i'm not asking you to enter whenever the atr is sloping up okay that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that if you are in a trade and you are deciding whether to hold a trade or not to hold a trade, what you can do is you can just look. So let's say, let's just say that uh, you entered somewhere over here. Let's say you entered on this candle. Okay, in fact, um, if you use the MPE trading strategy, uh, you probably will have entered here because uh, this is the uh, support and uh, you're in an uptrend and you have a nice uh, bullish engulfing pattern. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, just check the free day trading guide. Okay, let's just say you take this trade over here and you see that, um, you, you zoom in into the chart and you see that uh, there is an increase in the ATR. Okay, so it's sloping up. So what is this saying to you is that the range is increasing, therefore you should hold the trade and you can expect more profits. Okay, you need to use this uh, in conjunction with uh, a price action trading strategy. It doesn't have to be our trading strategy because this uh, concept of using the ATR to manage your trade is more of a trade management tool. It's not a trade entry tool. So this is how you can use it. So that is uh, the first part of today's video. I hope uh, you benefited from that. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is um, how do you use the uh, this unique way to apply technical analysis. Okay, a lot of you apply technical analysis like this. It's nothing new, okay? You, you say that uh, you can watch a thousand and one videos. But have you ever considered applying technical analysis to your indicator chart? So what do I mean? Let me show you. Let me show you. So right now, let me, let me maybe change to the uh, goal, uh, something clearer, okay. Um, so, okay, goal is not a good example. Let me see, pound dollar maybe. Okay, pound dollar is not a good example. Okay, something like this maybe. Okay, so maybe something like this. So how do we do it? Very simple, instead of applying technical analysis to your chart here, what I want you to do is I want you to apply technical analysis to your, this, uh, indicator chart instead so you pull it out instead and you just try to just identify the main thing okay so same thing as always uh, let me just draw it for you so how do you tell that uh, let's say the market can move uh, massively in one direction of course uh, instead of analyzing your price chart you analyze the uh, ATR so ATR you have the high here right now okay but what happens is that you have a low here and then you have a high here as well so what what should we see in order to say that let's say that uh this aussie dollar is ready to increase its range is ready to move more very simple you need this uh previous high to be violated so basically you are just applying a uh, technical analysis to your uh, atr chart okay so hopefully that is clear so if let's say uh price does something like this or rather the atr goes something like this then you can reasonably assume that Aussie dollar is going to pick up and then if you have a trade going on at the same time what you can do is you can use this you can use this to hold on to your trade because you can say that okay uh, previously was uptrend and then you have a retracement you have a high you have a low higher high sorry high low lower high lower low but uh, let's say this pattern is broken and price does something like this something like this go up and uh, do an inverted head and shoulder 
and goes up, then you can tell that, okay, Aussie dollar uh, is probably the range going to increase. Okay, again, this does not take into account the direction of uh, Aussie dollar. It doesn't say whether Aussie dollar is going to move up or move down. So you cannot just uh, trade off this indicator. Okay, very, very important. You still need to do your analysis of uh, this uh, Aussie dollar chart. Okay, but this is just a very quick tip for you. I do not see anyone talking about this, about instead of applying technical analysis to um, your chart here, you actually apply technical analysis to uh, this over here. Very simple, just look at the trend because uh, this is just a line. Uh, there is no candle high, no candle low. So this is not a candlestick chart, this is just a line chart. But you can still apply the uh, fundamentals of uh, technical analysis such as trend, you know, higher the concept of higher low and higher highs uh, in uptrend and concept of lower lows and lower highs in a downtrend. Okay, if you need more information about this kind of uh, concept, we do have a lot of videos on uh, our YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. Okay, I hope this benefited you, right? Please give us a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this because this is something that we is really very unique, original from us, right? Have a test. Let us know uh, if it helped you, right? We love to connect with you. If you have any other questions, just let us know. We'll be happy to address it in the comment section. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.